So let's do what actually happened that night. The famous one, Shear in Dublin and the fight. So I've talked to Alan about this and I've talked to you about it. You're in a bar. Obviously. Right. <laughs> There's glasses, empty glasses on the table, and then you pushed them on the floor. It wasn't purposely. Oh. We were playing like drinking games at the, at the back of the bar in, in Dublin. The girl had come over and was picking them up and it was fine. And Alan sort of pointed at me and says, you should be picking that up. And from nowhere, I just said, outside now. <laughs> right. So I was in front of him and I was like thinking, what have you done here? You know, because he's behind me. And I'm thinking, <laughs> right, you have no chance here. Just get the first dig in. So I swung for him. I actually thought I missed him. Alan actually says that I caught him on the side of the head, but he swung for me and hit me on the side of the head, and then I completely fell and hit my head in the plant pot, and that was me out cold. So when you hit your head, Alan looks down. He thought he'd killed you. Rob Lee um, thought, right, we need to get Alan away from this. You know, the police will arrive, ambulance arrive, whatever, and they'll be asking questions. So he, Rob Lee told Steve Howey to, to make some sort of story up. So when they got back to the hotel, he says to Rob Lee, it's sorted. He says, what did you tell him? He says, I told him you got hit by a hit-and-run driver. <laughs> <laughs> it's the worst excuse ever. So he goes, you slipped over? Uh, so now the guards are looking in Dublin for a hit-and-run driver. <laughs> <laughs> what was it like in the days after then? Was it just forgotten about? I was with him golfing last year and that, and, you know, we, we laugh about it all the time. He always sings that Chumbawanga song to me. You got, you got knocked down, but got up again. I think he forgets I didn't. <laughs>